Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I just wanted to share something with you today. Um, so I love my fat shark goggles. Um, and I mean, really, it's kind of, it's almost standard. Some of these packs, they're all 7.4 volt or so packs that um, you charge. It says it can take up to 11, but I've never, it, it seems like it gets too hot when you go up that high. But the point is, usually you buy these kind of packs and you're kind of stuck to uh, buying these kind of packs to put into your thing your FPV goggles and um, you know you might have something similar to this but um, in any case it's just a barrel plug on the end of a lipo battery um, you can kind of tell here but tattoos version of it um, this one has a 3D printed case on it, but same barrel plug that plugs into the thing and then a balance plug that plugs into the fan. But um, what I wanted to show you is what I have done and it's kind of a cheap, easy way to do it. Basically, you make your own little adapter here. Um, this is a Dean's version. I'm actually gonna make a XT60 version here in a minute but you can source this stuff from stuff around your house you probably have one of these barrel connectors on some kind of old uh, wall wart adapter like, you know like one of these kind of deals um, this one's from an old router and it has one and um, basically just kind of find one that fits good in there and and if you're not using it or uh you know it's just not working you can still use the uh connectors from it so all i did i actually made a long one too but you can take this wire and you know make sure it's not plugged in and you can snip off or maybe you have you know just some of these laying around you snip off the barrel plug right now, ideally, I don't know if you can notice this one, this one has a 90 degree angle on it, and it's a little nicer for plugging into FPV goggles, because it's not sticking out. But we're just gonna, um, for our purposes today, we're just gonna do it on one of these normal long, you know, just where it's sticking out. But um, basically, all you do is you get your, um, here, I'll put the vice in view and whenever you're soldering it's good to have ventilation so there's my little vent fan there uh, hopefully it won't get too hard to see um, but yeah basically you just take your barrel plug cut it off at whatever length you want you can, it could be a shorty I'm gonna do a shorty one just so for um, sake of demonstration here but cut it off where you want it and then strip the wires with a wire stripper or whatever you have so I strip my copper wires off about I don't know you could do a quarter inch from the end there and then um, you get your XT60 plug and or whatever plug you want to use to interface with your batteries and I don't know if I explained it yet what that allows you to do is use any type of well, I mean they, they have to be the same voltage this is a 7.4 volt 1300 milliamp and it's just some came from some other drone cheap toy drone I had and uh, yeah see there it is you can just plug your Dean's connector in you don't have to buy a fancy um, battery and well uh, you can even plug it you know if the battery's the same size you can even put it in that little slot I like putting it in my back pocket but you know that's just it's an easy adapter and you don't have to make a special battery a lot of these tutorials tell you to make a barrel plug that's attached to the thing well then you can't use this um, lipo for anything else you can only use it for fpv goggles i mean that's fine but i like this because you can use it with whatever you want 
um, you can still use this lipo battery you don't have to convert it or anything you know you don't have to convert it to to that basically and you can still use it and it just has this simple adapter that you can plug any 7.4 volt or whatever your FPV goggles accepts you can plug anything you want in there basically and it's a lot cheaper and easier I think but yeah maybe that'll help some people but uh, here's how you do it so what we're gonna do I like to put my stuff in a vice so I got mine in a vice you could have a helping hands or whatever and then you get a little flux flux is one of the most important things in soldering people think that flux is inside of the solder yeah it is but it's nothing really that usable <laughs> you're gonna need some flux get some flux on your uh, connector whatever connector you're using I don't know if you can see it there um, and yeah what I'm gonna do is solder on my leads here if I can find my solder okay I got solder so you have to determine which side is positive and which side is negative sometimes they're marked they have little lines on them I don't know if you can see the white lines there but um a good way to tell is you take your handy, handy dandy multimeter Sorry, I'm trying to get everything in focus here in the frame. You take your handy multimeter, put it to the, um, some of them have a beeper setting, some of them have a, like, I forget what that's called. I'll have to put that in the comments or something, but you put it on the beeper set setting, so when you touch the two together, they beep. So you can take, I find it easier just to put it in the center there. So put one end in the center, and then, or whatever you want to test. So there you go. That you know that is the center of it. Does that make sense? You put you put one end on whatever side you want to test, and then you just feel your things because the one that's going to beep is the one that you're plugged into. So you know that that center one is going to be which one that one so that's the center one it sometimes helps to take like a marker and you can kind of mark it in this case we're going to see that the white lines that's the negative side and the black side is the positive side so we look at our xt60 connector one side most of the time they're marked this side has a positive this side has a negative so we're going to put that in to our vice or whatever we have it's all fluxed up and if I can remember what side is what okay positive see now I forgot what side is what let's do that again So get our, and it helps, you should probably put heat shrinks on it too to make it a little cleaner or, or uh, tape or whatever you got. So there I just soldered the positive side and now I'm going to solder the negative. And that's all she wrote. So now you have a connector that you can plug in your battery and then the other end can go into your fat sharks. And it's just a simple, easier way to interface with a lot of these FPV goggles or it might give you some ideas. Um, there's the XT60 version and there's the Dean's version and yeah it's just a cheap easy way to use some of these old batteries you have laying around and uh, it's better than buying a million of these things I think or these things but yeah it's just a simple adapter and uh, save you some money 
But uh, yeah, hopefully this helps some people. Thanks for watching. Bye.